scientific explanation um, by itself um, does not tell us what we should value, does not tell us what our goals should be. Um, and when we um, debate or think about or discuss our values and our goals, we're doing something more than just what science tells us. Now there's a, um, I think, widespread belief that a commitment to scientific explanation is incompatible with trying to answer those other questions. So I think there's a widespread belief that um, a commitment to science means that there are no answers or no objective answers in those other areas. Um, and I think that's a mistake. Um, and in my first lecture, what I try to do is first say that there are important practical implications for this belief of the incompatibility, um, and then to argue that um, arguments for that incompatibility are not successful. In my second lecture, what I try to do is develop an account of how a scientific worldview and an account of values can be made compatible with one another. Um, so I try to develop an account of how um, values and standards of practical reason can be thought of as fitting in with or being compatible with a scientific worldview. So not derived from science, but fitting with it, not being in contradiction with it, and integrating into a common perspective of, of the world and the world um, including both.